what's going on guys welcome to another video of Hoodstick and today is going to be the first drive of the Nissan 350Z Fairlady so this is going to be absolutely crazy because I've never ever driven one of these before and um, to be honest I'm quite delighted to drive one of these because they are like you know so notorious right now the best sounding Japanese cars to get because this is stock 276 brave horsepower straight six rear wheel drive like what more can you ask for so um you know i've just started the car up now it's gonna do a quick walk around um it's gonna be insane because um obviously um i never had the chance to drive this car since we've had it we've had it for probably like a couple of months now literally yeah so the reason why i want to drive it as soon as possible is because we're going to be decat in the next video so before i decat the car um uh, straight it's going to be literally straight pipe we're going to straight pipe the car but how the car sounds right now this sounds so crazy so we're just gonna go for a spin in it oh geez okay i didn't know that so <laughs> we're just gonna go for a spin in it nothing too crazy and uh to see how the car drives again it's my first time so let's just buckle up and uh, start driving the car wow this car feels so weird the seating position's weird as well how do i uh Bring the seat back. Yeah, the seat doesn't even move back. I think that's how they're supposed to be, to be honest. I've got a bit of a gap there, but. Oh, what's this? Oh, sick. Look at that. So that goes back. This goes forward. It's all electric, like a luxurious car. What is it with these Jap cars? So, a uh, bit of info. 276 brake horsepower stock straight 6 v6 uh, it's a manual it's a roadster convertible don't know if that makes a difference because i do like the coupe ones but this is a very cheap to be honest so this car is clearly um quite responsive man <laughs> i do like the drive of it i feel like i'm low to the ground like i'm literally touching the floor <laughs> reminds me of a mx5 to be honest but uh you know what Let's just see how this car drives. I'm not even gonna waste time. I'm just gonna go full whack with it. First gear, let's go. Whoa! Jeez! That was rapid! My goodness! I seen that when I changed the gear at first, it slowed down a bit because the traction just kicked in. I actually don't know how to off the traction in this car. This car is crazy. The most craziest thing about this car is the fact that it, um, the turning ability of this car it just feels so good. That nice Mercedes that is, AMG. But yeah, it feels so nice and nimble. Even the, the, the turning meters are pretty good in this car. Let's go for it again. I know it's going to wheel spin a bit, we don't want it to wheel spin. Let's go. Whoa. This is insane. Absolutely insane the way car drives. Whoa. Back in wants to come out. guys jeez 0 to 60 man this car is crazy all right let's drop the second gear pull wow do you know what it feels like when you get to about four thousand bit four and a half thousand bits there's an extra kick on the car like a v-tech like a civic type car gosh i love this car does the handbrake even work on this car no, it doesn't. Man, if it did work, we would have been sending this sideways. But gosh, do I love this car. Reverse, I've got to push it down. Oh, nice little truck sound to the car this has. I do like that. Oh, this car is amazing. Wow. Insane. So this car, this sounds crazy. The V6. 3.5 litre sorry this car shifts 
You know what? I think we got ourselves a new king. What we're gonna have to do is put this against the Civic Type R, uh, the Audi 3.2 V6, a V6 race. But this is a new king. I feel like this is so nippy, so nimble. It's it feels like a low to the ground. It's proper. You know, oh god, I don't know what to explain it, but it's just a like a you know, it's, it's a bit of a sleeper to be honest. I, I wouldn't expect a car like this to handle the way it did in the B roads. I thought that's a Type R thing, but clearly this does it much better. You know. And obviously the sound of the car is coming from the exhaust. I feel, I feel like I'm in a sports car when I drive this. Every other car, like you got seats in the back, you can actually put the power down. Um, it goes up to, I think I took it to about 7,000 revs just below the red line. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to go crazy with this car. The best thing about this car is stock. You can, it also tells you the oil level, oil pressure, the battery uh, volt. Um, yeah, you got time. You got a small little comp compartment here. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty um, nice little car. I know it's a two seater. You know, if you want a sports car, I think this is the car to get. CD player. You got temperatures right next. To Handbrake's perfect where it needs to sit. Although it would be here better here but if you can use it for drifting you can get yourself obviously the hydro handbrake but this is pretty sick though got your heated seats with the car as well i never even turn that on but that's insane isn't it little com compartment here another compartment here put all your things in if i wanted to take the the roof off um i believe it's a manual you guys drop a comment down below what you think but i must admit it everything they say about this car it is a sick car and that's coming from from my experience in these cars but wow anyways um peace and blessings upon each and every one of you i'll see you guys in the next video peace